Hey guys, we always get a ton of episode requests and suggestions from your lovely faces. And one of the things we've seen the most has been a request for an episode on Squirrel Girl. Now, if you don't know who Squirrel Girl is, it'll probably surprise you to learn that she's one of the most formidable characters in the Marvel Universe. Yes, you heard me correctly. A character who can talk to squirrels, wears a squirrel-like costume, and possesses squirrel-like abilities is actually one of Marvel's heavy hitters. Originally, she started off as a one-off joke character who wanted to be Iron Man's sidekick. But fans really liked her, so they made her a reoccurring character. She joined the humor-driven Great Lakes Avengers and even became the nanny for the daughter of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. As the character has developed, one of the reoccurring jokes with Squirrel Girl is how she keeps defeating a bunch of Marvel's toughest heroes and villains. And that's exactly what you clicked on this episode for. So the first on this list of characters who Squirrel Girl has kicked the crap out of is Doctor Doom. She actually defeated him with ease in her first appearance in Marvel Super Heroes Volume 2, Issue 8. Basically, after Iron Man rejects Squirrel Girl as a partner, she proves her worth by taking down one of Marvel's most feared villains. How does she do this, you ask? Well, by swarming him with an army of squirrels, of course. So many, in fact, that he can't do anything but pull the lever of an escape hatch to get away. Yeah, Doctor Doom was defeated by Squirrel Girl and literally ran away saying, you have not heard the last of Victor Von Doom. This indignity shall be avenged. The next character to feel some squirrely wrath was Wolverine in New Avengers 15. While working as the nanny for Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, she's asked to show off her skills and face off against Wolverine. So she literally punches, kicks, knees, and tears into Wolverine like nobody's business. It was so easy for her, in fact, that she turns her back on him saying, Great Lakes Avengers, represent. Wolverine then says, never turn your back in a fight, and puts her in an arm lock. But she just calls a crap ton of squirrels forcing Wolverine to let go and say, okay, okay, well played. So that's another champion down, but her wins are far from over. She also defeated Fin Fang Foom in Age of Heroes issue 3. On the final page of the issue, we just find an already unconscious Fin Fang Foom, and we learn that it was at the hands of Squirrel Girl. That's right, she soloed a gigantic dragon. The comic doesn't say exactly how, just that she did. But does it really matter? She defeated a 32 foot, 20 ton, acid spitting dragon by herself. And we find her talking to her Great Lakes Avengers teammates about it like it was no big deal. As if that wasn't enough, on the same page where she's talking to her teammates, we learn of other characters she's defeated, like Ego the Living Planet. You know, the main villain in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which took the combined might of the Guardians of the Galaxy to defeat? Yeah, Squirrel Girl did it alone. How exactly did she take on a sentient world that's over 4,000 miles in diameter? Not sure, but her teammate Doorman said it happened, and he seems like a trustworthy guy to me. Mr. Immortal then follows Doorman's reveal by casually mentioning the time Squirrel Girl banished Baron Mordo, yet again without any explanation about how but it's still just insane that she did. Baron Mordo's magical abilities rival that of Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme himself. So much, in fact, that Doctor Strange just had to call in help from his fellow Avengers to defeat him. I guess all he really needed to do was have Squirrel Girl take care of it. They also mentioned, in still this same conversation, how she beat Korvac. To put that into perspective, it took the combined might of the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy to take him down, and they barely were able to do it at that. But the sweet squirrel lady apparently managed to do it all by her lonesome. But is there more, you ask? Yes. Yes, there is. I think everyone would agree that Deadpool is one of, if not the best assassin in the Marvel Universe. Meaning he's highly trained in weaponry and martial arts, as well as having one of the best healing factors in all of comic books. Well, guess what? Good old Squirrel Girl took him down in Cable and Deadpool issue 30. It's a very brief fight, but she manages to beat and apprehend Deadpool, turning him over to the authorities. It's kind of ridiculous how many of these powerful characters she's able to take down. For the love of Christopher Walken, she was even able to take down Thanos in the Great Lakes Avengers Christmas Special Issue 1. And yet again, we don't know how because she did it off-panel. The rest of her team just returns to see that she beat one of the most powerful villains in all of Marvel Comics by herself, saving the multiverse. What, nobody ever thinks to ask a freaking question? That seems like the perfect place to ask a question to me. But I digress. Clearly Squirrel Girl is a joke character meant for laughs, especially how most of her battles are one off panel. But again, that's just part of her gag or gimmick. And I gotta say, it's pretty dang funny how most of the time she beats up super powerful characters without a single explanation. We just know she did it. She's beaten additional characters like Modoc, Craven the Hunter, and so on. If that doesn't settle the point about this Joe character, whose abilities aren't really too out of the norm for superheroes, I don't know what will. Well, besides being able to command an army of squirrels. That, that's not normal.
Now it's clear that Squirrel Girl is awesome, but before we go, I also want to recommend that you guys check out the trailer for our production company's upcoming sci-fi short film, Ballistic, directed by Ryan Conley of Film Riot and produced by our very own Tim Conley. It's easily their coolest and most ambitious project to date. So if you like sci-fi action, you definitely want to check that out. The link for the full trailer is in the description below. But other than that, be sure to follow us on our social media like our Twitter, our Instagram, our Facebook, and our website. Links for that are in the description below. Also, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe and then hit the bell next to it so you're notified when Whenever we upload a new video. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.